All right, welcome back to the PTZ Camera Operator Handbook. In this chapter and online video, we're going to be talking about the most important features for PTZ cameras. Some of them you may know about, some of them probably you don't, I'm guessing, and all of them are going to help you understand how to better use and operate your PTZ camera. So let's get into it. So as you know, we've gone through this online course and we've gone through so much information and individual videos about how to operate a PTZ camera, how to understand what it is. And now we're going to talk about some of the most important features. Now, of course, when you purchase a PTZ camera, and I'm hoping you already have one if you're taking this online course, you obviously are looking for a quality lens, image sensor, motor. You're looking for the AV connections that you need. You're hoping to work with a trusted brand that has a good warranty and a support team that will help you. That's all obvious. But there's some presets and some special things about PTZ cameras that are not so obvious that I want to reveal today. One of them is called the home preset. And the home preset is a preset that you can use to have the PTZ camera go to it immediately. In fact, let me show this with the ceiling camera here. Right in the middle of the oh, I've got to change cameras here. Hold on, let me go back on that. Is it camera six? All right, so right in the middle of the IR remote is the home button. Let's go in a little deeper here. The home button is available right in the middle there. Now the home button is is important not just because it's available with one click on the IR remote control. It's actually important because the PTZ camera will go to that home position at startup. So it's a cool little feature where you can set the home preset. Usually it's preset zero. You set preset zero. And then the camera, if it turns off and it turns on, it goes automatically to that spot. And so that saves you time during setup if you always need the PTZ camera to zoom into a specific place. And it also is very quick and easy to get to that position when you are you know, searching around for a preset, the home one is the one to go back to. Now, another feature that a lot of people don't know about their PTZ cameras is called focus calibration. And focus calibration allows you to calibrate the focus of your PTZ camera. It's something that you should probably do once a year. Um, you should probably do it the first time you set up a PTZ camera just because it's been moved around, it's been taken out of a box, maybe it was shipped by UPS, they're usually packaged really well. But if there's ever any thought that the focus could be improved, you do the focus calibration, there's a focus calibration setup tool, and it'll recalibrate the focus and make it perform better and more optimal. Now, another feature that's really awesome that a lot of cameras have, and some, some do, some don't actually in my research, is called Motion Sync. And what Motion Sync does is it synchronizes the pan, tilt, and zoom movements between two presets. And that is pretty important because it makes operating the PTZ camera look smoother. It looks more like a real camera person is directing it all to end in a specific place. And it makes your camera operations more powerful because the pan, tilt, and zoom all happen in one smooth, fluid movement. Without motion sync, many cameras are being said that they look a little bit robotic. They pan, then they tilt, then they zoom. And that's true for a lot of the kind of maybe lower end PTZ cameras and the cameras that don't have motion sync. So that's a great feature. If your camera has it, make sure it's turned on and see if you like the way it operates. You can see we have this motion sync feature we're showing here on a PTZ optics camera in the setup area there. You can set up the motion sync and you can actually tweak the motion sync a little bit based on the speed at which you would like to bring up the professionalism of your productions. That's when you're calling PTZ presets, obviously not having anything to do with PTZ, manual PTZ control. Now, speaking of PTZ control and presets, the precision zooming that you have, the capability to call a PTZ preset and choose the overall speed, that is found in the PTZ camera menu, and you can adjust that here as well. You can adjust the manual and the preset speeds. We've talked about that, so I won't go into too much detail there, but it is a good feature to look out for um, and, and understand how it works. A newer feature is finer tune control of focus, and there's something called a focal range. 
and a focal range can be used to limit in which areas the autofocus operates. So you can actually set a range and say, hey, between here and here, I want the autofocus to work, but anything closer to the camera or further away from that point, don't worry about it, don't focus on it. So the focus limit is an advanced tool you can use to really make sure that the PTZ camera is only focusing on the areas that you need it to. And it, it eliminates the, some errors that autofocus will happen based on people walking in and, in and out of your space. So in between three and 60 feet, one and 20 meters, you can define that range and it really will improve the autofocus that your camera uses. So here's an example here where you've got you know, the first range is six feet, the second range is 12 feet, you're doing yoga, you're in between that space, but then in the background, you know, you've got the kids and the dad and, you know, you don't want them to be focused on and this is a great way to, to do that. Another feature that's really awesome and this is called Focus Lock. I'll show this actually on the PTZ Superjoy to show that it's here, is you can autofocus lock, unlock, and autofocus. So those are the three modes that a lot of PTZ cameras have. The lock feature allows you to just say, hey, this is where I want the focus to lock. So if I lock this right now and I zoom out, it's going to go out of focus because the focus is locked in that position. That actually can, can make for some really cool movements. And I've been wanting to show this for a while. Let me unlock the focus. Okay. So autofocus is on. And so it'll just focus right in. What I've, I've been wanting to do this for a while here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set a preset at preset one. And then I'm going to zoom in to somewhere real close. Let's say right here. And I'm going to lock the focus. And I'm going to set preset two here. Now, if I go to preset one, it's going to come out to here. But if I go to preset two, it's going to go right in and focus right in. So it's a really great feature for focus adjustments. Um, just remember, you do have to turn unlock the focus after, unless you want the focus to stay specifically on that position. Now, color matching is a, is, is a big topic, and we've, we've discussed it a little bit with, um, with our uh, video on exposure. And there's some really great settings inside the cameras for white balancing and tweaking the camera performance. So look for those color matching features and it allows you to help uh, really sync up the colors that are coming from multiple cameras. Now, another feature that most PTZ cameras have, but again, it's overlooked a lot, are those pan and tilt limits. And this is being shown used with the PTZ Optics camera control software an easy way to operate the camera's pan and tilt, lock those limits and apply them so that you can very easily set those limits up and make sure that you're happy with the operations of the camera. Again, so you don't overshoot a specific space. You can really limit the camera and it helps. Now, another one that's very much overlooked is called the NTP time servers. And I was going to pull this up uh, to show it because it's a little advanced, but I want to, I'm going to plant a seed of why it's important. And then we're going to have another uh, chapter on it specifically. So in the camera itself, it can receive a NTP address and server. And so you can have a Mac one, you can have a Windows one, or even a custom NTP server. And the reason why this is important is because you may have multiple PTZ cameras okay and you want to sync the video streams the video and audio streams together and by using an ntp time server every frame of data can be stamped every packet that's transferred over the network this is for network video can be stamped and then the computer receiving those pieces of video can organize and align those 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 pieces of video so ntp servers it's a little bit complicated so we're going to have a whole separate video on it coming up soon but in general NTP servers are going to allow you to synchronize the video from multiple PTZ cameras over your network. SRT is another more advanced, innovative feature in many PTZ cameras. It's called Secure Reliable Transport. It was originally designed by High Vision. This is a really well supported video transport protocol that allows you to use video over the public internet, over the wide area network 
So you're sending video outside of the split wherever you are and sending it anywhere in the world in a reliable and secure fashion. And it has a lot of great tools for error correction. And um, we're going to also cover that in more detail in an upcoming video. RTMPS. If you're not familiar with RTMP yet, real-time media protocol, real-time real -time media protocol. And RTMPS is the new secure version that's now supported by Facebook and other content delivery networks. Those are the places that you send your video. RTMP really is the standard for sending video to a content delivery network like YouTube, like Facebook, to share your live stream. RTMPS is an important improvement and it's more secure. And so that's another one that you should be keeping, taking, uh, thinking about when you are, you know, understanding the features of your PTZ camera. Now, the key takeaways are the PTZ cameras, they've got these specific features and they're always trying to improve camera operations in a variety of scenarios. So keep an eye on new firmware from the camera manufacturer you're working with. Some PTC camera features allow you to optimize your video production workflow, like NDI, like NTP servers, like RTMPS. Others are designed to give you as a camera operator more fine-tuned control over the camera that you're using. So those are the key takeaways. Our next chapter is going to dig even deeper into video production, and we're going to actually finally get into some of those more advanced ways of controlling PTZ cameras. And so I'm super excited about it. I'll see you guys in the next video.